Hi friends, I'm Anzir Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about uh, system databases in, in uh, SQL Server, and that is master, model, MSDB, TempDB, and resource. Okay, so these are system databases. So you may have observed after installing SQL Server that some databases are automatically created under uh, system uh, databases node. These are uh, master, model, MSDB, TempDB, and resource. Resource database is hidden and cannot be seen in this node. Rest for databases are visible in the node. And one, one more thing, uh, if you have observed, you'll not get a delete option when you right click on it. So basically, you'll not be able to uh, drop system database as they uh, contain metadata information. Okay, so I'll just show you. I'll go to my SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, in uh, databases, you'll get system databases. And when you'll expand it, you'll get master, model, MSDB, and TempDB. Okay, resource is hidden. So, uh, we'll uh, discuss about uh, each database. Okay, so for uh, master database, the master database uh, keeps and manages all system level information okay this that is system information which are defined at uh, instance level such as system configurations logon accounts linked server etc so regularly you have to take master database backup because if it is corrupted then you 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 will not be able to uh, start sql server and you have to follow a different strategy to restart it also avoid to create user objects in master database okay so in uh, model the model database acts uh, as a template for all the databases uh, which have been created on particular instance if you create any object on model database okay if you create any table or any other thing in a model database and if you create any user database if you create a new database on that instance then those objects will also be created in new user database so you can use model database in such scenarios where you have to repeat particular objects in all newly created database okay so this is your msdb sql server agent information is managed by msdb databases and msdb database all jobs and details okay different configured alerts and operators etc are managed by it so for example if you perform a backup of database then all operation uh, all operational uh, information okay and events like backup types backup time name of the uh, source performing the backup and a device where performing backups etc are stored in msdb database by default uh, msdb is in simple recovery model but in some scenarios uh, it is recommended to use full recovery model okay so next is your uh, temp db database uh, as the name suggests uh, TempDB uh, holds temporary data like uh, local temporary uh, tables, global uh, temporary tables, temporary table variables and cursors, internal objects created by database engine uh, for sorting, online index activities, etc. So if you have observed in SQL Server Management Studio, there is no option for TempDB backup and restore okay so you cannot backup or restore this database as uh, this database is uh, recreated every time SQL Server uh, starts okay so I'll just show you in SQL Server Management Studio okay uh, in, in master model MSD we will right click it okay so you'll get this much options if you'll go to any user database for example this okay so you have delete okay this option you can drop database but if you'll go to system database 
you don't have delete option or rename option okay so this is important you'll not be able to drop it then uh, for tempdb database if you can see in other database okay you can go to task and backup and you also have restore option if you'll go to tempdb database right click on it task you don't have backup and restore option here okay if you go to any user database for example so you'll get this task okay then backup and restore options but in tempdb in task you don't have any backup and restore option okay so next is our, uh, our resource database uh, the resource database is hidden and uh, not visible in system database list okay as we have seen in uh, SQL Server Management Studio just now so it is read only database and contains system objects linked to system schema in all the databases so prior to prior to SQL Server 2005 all system uh, stored procedures system functions and system views uh, were defined and linked in master database but later all these have been defined in resource uh, database so every instance of SQL Server is associated with only one resource data file so I'll show you path for this because this is not visible uh, in this list so but this is available right so I'll go to I'll show you path you can go to uh, C drive okay C drive program files Microsoft SQL Server then MS SQL okay then this is your uh, 11 dot MS SQL uh, server then MS SQL and bin so if you go to this path you'll uh, find this MS SQL system resource dot LDF this is log file for this resource database and this is master data file for resource database okay so you'll find this this is hidden database okay so you can find it on this path so this completes our uh, system databases okay so if you like my video you can uh, subscribe to my youtube channel or you can visit to my website sqlserverlog.com i have written this article about this uh, system databases master model msdb tempdb and resource okay and you can uh, go through article if you have any query you can leave a reply and uh, you can subscribe to newsletter uh, join me on facebook and uh, you can subscribe to a YouTube channel for latest videos. Okay, thank you.